This is an audio production quick take by Marwak. The content that follows is from the ebook VoiceOver on Linux, which explains how to create professional voiceover products using Linux and associated open source software. Today's topic is Pulsecaster, a podcast recording utility on Linux. Pulsecaster is a simple pulse audio based tool for recording podcast interviews. The project's objective is to provide a user friendly graphical application that lets you capture both ends of an audio call on your computer for further packaging into a podcast episode. Let's start with some command line settings to configure Pulsecaster prior to use. G settings lets you get, set, or monitor an individual configuration key for changes. The list keys option shows the available keys for the Pulsecaster schema argument entered. The list recursively option shows the settings currently stored in those keys. Of the keys listed, the ones we're most interested in are Audio Rate and Expert. The Audio Rate key sets the PCM sample rate that Pulsecaster will record at. The default is 48,000 samples per second, or 48 kilohertz. Unless the client requests otherwise, I prefer to use 44,100 samples per second, or 44.1 kilohertz. You can change this in Pulsecaster with the G settings set command. The new sample rate will then show up in a subsequent listing of configuration keys. The other setting of special interest is the expert key. The gsettings describe command provides an explanation if you forgot what Pulsecaster means by expert setting. Note that when the expert key is set to true, it says audio streams as a plural word. The result will be two PCM WAV files, each for local and remote audio respectively. The G setting set command is one way you can select expert mode. We'll look at an alternative way to do this in the Pulsecaster GUI momentarily. Although the default is to record to a composite AUG Vorbis or FLAC file, it's best to have two separate PCM files you can edit, mix down, normalize, and then encode into the final delivery file. And here's the final result of making these adjustments with the G settings command. When you first open the Pulsecaster GUI, click the Preferences button to open the Preferences pop-up window. Be sure that the Expert Settings radio button is selected to provide separate PCM files for local and remote audio. One WAV file will be you on your microphone, and the other WAV file will be from the incoming audio from the remote source, usually your guest and co-host. Your local audio source will be indicated by the pull-down menu on the Your Voice line. You can double-check its level at the Input Devices tab in the Pulse Audio Volume Control GUI. All remote audio will be combined in the same WAV file, as it's all directed to the same output destination, usually your speakers or headset. This still helps in separating the voices when you and the others inadvertently talk over each other. Be sure to keep an eye on your audio levels, in case the web app you're using tries to boost your local audio into distortion range. This is affected by Pulse Audio, but you can see the result in Pulsecaster. When you're done recording, click the Pulsecaster Stop button. Pulsecaster will open a dialog to enter the prefix for the file names, and the path to save them to. You will have two WAV files each with dash one dot wave and dash two dot wave appended to them respectively. One of those is your local audio, and the other is the remote audio, which you can now edit and mix down in an audio editor. Remember, especially in situations where other recording capabilities are limited, Pulsecaster is a great option for simultaneously recording local and remote audio sources. This has been an audio production quick take by Marwak. For more details on using open source tools for audio processing, see the ebook Voice Over on Linux by Mark Caldwell Walker.